Hello, this is going to be just a quick ASMR video with my phone. Um, I got several requests recently to make another public tapping video where I tap on random items in the grocery store. I will do that soon. If I don't, I mean, I will try that very soon if I don't get some strange looks or whatever from the people. I paused the video last time I did that a few times because people were looking at me like, what the heck? And uh, so, if I don't get that what the frick look, <laughs> then, then, then I'll try that again soon. This is going to be some rattling type sounds and maybe some tapping sounds as well. But, yeah, if I don't get that that weird, that look like, um, like I'm flipping crazy, then I will, uh, I usually prefer to go and do, go to the stores and Walmart or whatever, especially Walmart when no one, when other people are not there, and, um, just take my time or whatever, and if we, do, if, if we do go, if I do go, that's usually what I do. If my mama and I go to the store, I usually go in there later. Our cat seems to be doing better. She's quite peculiar. I mean, she's very... The Egyptian Maui is... Which, interesting fact, the Egyptian Maui was revered to be very, very... Um, they were... Uh, I believe they were um, they were revered highly in Egypt, and the Egyptian cat Maui means cat in Egypt. So actually, saying Egyptian Maui cat is like saying Egyptian cat cat. So, um, or Mao. I don't know. Maybe they, but they uh, they had some special qualities and things, and the Egyptians revered them very highly, and they were brought over in. Uh, by some royalty in uh, British nobles from, uh, and here she is, speaking of which, she knows I'm talking about her. I think she's calmed down enough to where she's going to, where she's going to actually lay on me. You can probably hear her purring right now. She likes all of the attention. She doesn't really like any of the other cats being around her at all out those the outside ones they're just kind of the other two are just kind of like they go to the door and she's just like any other animals or any other thing they cause her to be I mean maybe she'll just take a little while to get used to them she's calming down right now and loving on the phone she has her moments Good kitty. Get get. Get get. She seems to be a good mouser, so that's that's what that is what's the major plus. We needed a good mouser at this time. We've all this all the time we've lived here we've never dealt with mice, but this year it's been really bad because of the rain and all the bugs and everything and all the water and every, it's just been yeah, but, uh, she seems to be doing better with me. She will just lay in your way, though, and just smack at you if you try to step over. It's just crazy. Cats can be crazy. I think she touched the screen and it caused a, she touched the screen and it caused it to put a little line through it. But, yeah. The weather's going to be crazy. The weather's going to be like 20-something for the high. And it's going to be 8 degrees, I think, for the low. And then... She wants me to give all the attention to her right now, so... When she wants the attention, she will not stop until she gets it. But it's supposed to be uh, like negative two negative four in the negatives is the wind chill sunday night so the cold temperatures are on the way i had a lot of things happening 
Everything that you could think possibly could just have happened is happening lately. Something happened with the truck. We almost hit a deer recently, and then we had to get the, uh, whether we had the money or not, it had to be fixed. And uh, we had to get the, uh, the, um, the brake line fixed on the truck. And, uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna have to fix the, uh, sometime or other, the main, the main thing for the oil. I can't think right now with a cat on me right now <laughs> but yeah the uh, brake line is uh, we had to fix that the brake line and put new brake uh, brake fluid in it it was completely empty so I don't even know how we were stopping I mean it was just a miracle that we made it there and uh, and then because of a deer a deer uh, I don't know why they do that they ran right out in front of us and we had to stop suddenly just like the last time one deer actually caused our Nissan Xterra to be torn to pieces in the front, all messed up. Well, the the light anyway. It just started walking. We were only driving 40 miles per hour, and it just walked right toward us. My mama was driving very slowly, and then it just jumped onto the Nissan. I was like, no, why did it have to do that? And uh, broke the light, and uh, yeah. So we've got to fix that sometime. But it's just always something. And then the the dog got out of the pen. And it's like the pen, it's broken. And then it's like, and it's been really rainy. And then it's like, oh, it's kind of messed everything up. And so we just put him in the garage for now. And I've, uh, he seems to like that though. I'll just take him for walks. And So far, I'm just kind of taking care of him, have his food and water in there, and litter and an area where he can go, and and then he gets out and walks around with me. I take him for a walk on a leash, and just kind of, or, you know, a cord. The other two dogs, they all kind of guard each other, and watch the property, and watch each other. And, uh, this cat's very peculiar, though, but a lot's been going on with the dog, and then he and then he recently got hurt, and we had to take care of that, and then he just always likes to just be adventurous, and seems like he's always getting into trouble, but he's he's very sweet. He's gotten much better than he used to be, but he's very sweet at heart, and he's very, uh, he was very loving with me, and I sat down there and just stayed with him for a long time. I love animals, truly. This one's been a little peculiar, this cat here. She's been very... She seems very nice right now, but she has her moments. She has... Definitely has... She definitely has her moments. If she doesn't want you to bother her, you won't bother her. And she's so moody for supposedly a young cat, they say. Um, she's just so moody. Um... can hear her purring, I'm sure. She seems okay right now. But if she does not want to be around around you, she will not let you bother her. Or she'll lay, you're light, she'll lay in your way and smack you if you try to walk over. You kind of smack at you lightly, not really using her claws. Just kind of smack at you with, uh, with her, um, her paws. Or her ears will go backwards, like she, you know, she's frustrated when her ears go backwards. And if she doesn't get her tuna, she will, um, like at Christmas time, she would like, if it's like, if I don't get my tuna, like she would push on the Christmas tree, or try to bite, lightly, she, she, a few days ago she tried to, actually yesterday, bite the main network cable going to the router. The main cable, the fiber cable going to the, going to the router. And she's like, I'm going to bite this network cable. I know it's important. and Or the wires or whatever. Or do something. I'm going to knock something off or do something. Until I get my tuna. So it's like, fine, here. And she's happy. I don't know, some cats are just that way. Yeah, I'm talking about you, kitty. Or she'll 
try to mimic you. It's so weird. Something she'll say. Something she'll be like. Try to mimic your words. I don't know. It's weird. Her meows. She does a lot of peculiar things. She acts like a grumpy old uh, kitty cat. I don't know why. Like a grumpy elderly person or something. Like a... And I love elderly people, by the way. I'm just making some jokes here. I love elderly people and children and animals and kitty cats and... Yeah, but I just... Like, she acts like a grumpy elderly cat or something. <laughs> like a Kate McKinnon character on SNL, Saturday Night Live or something. Like, get out of my way. <laughs> I'm just being crazy, thinking of something right now, but... She's okay right now, but she has her moments. I couldn't do any tapping or anything right now. She'd want to play with it right now, but it wouldn't. I'm trying to get her to be calm right now. So that's why I stopped this tapping sounds. But anyway, that's all for this video. I just wanted to talk about several things. There's been a lot going on. A lot of crazy things. Hope and pray my daddy's blood pressure goes down and my mama feels better and that I feel better and everything goes better. He's gotten this, con daddy got this congestion and it's not good. It's like in the chest. It feels like in his, it's in his lungs, it feels like. and It's like it's they're filled with liquid, it feels like. And then he got this, his high blood pressure. His blood pressure went sky high and I don't even want to say how high it is. It's not good. He's a truck driver, so that's definitely not good. He already has diabetes and... He has to take this medicine to, for he has to take medicine for diet for his diabetes, his sugar level, and medicine for his you know his. Uh, it's actually like an anxiety pill, but it's for um, helps calm your your moods and mood swings and level even level your mood out your um, your. Uh, Let's see, it's for uh, basically calming you and uh, helping with anxiety and things. But yeah, he has to help. He has to take those, and he's been taking fluid medicine to try to lower the fluid levels. And he's been getting so many. He's been getting so much high blood pressure, and that's just not good. And which makes him frustrated or and angry, and then that causes it to be worse, and then it's. Doesn't help with his mood at all. But I hope and pray that goes away soon. He's been going, we've been all going through a lot. My mama goes through a lot of pain. And doctors don't help. They're just no help. I mean, they're just, no matter where you go. But I don't want to be depressing. Maybe I'll find a way I can work online or work from the internet. Or get donations or be able to work from home somehow. That would be great. But, yeah, right now I'm taking care of the uh, kitty cat right now. I thought maybe I would. Maybe I could use her purring in another video. I did that in two other videos. I just wanted to talk. So this has been a quick ASMR video. Next I'll let you hear her purring, and that's all for now. Hopefully the space heater in the background wasn't too noisy. It's to the left of me. The little small space heater. So, anyway, much love. Peace, and thank you for listening. That's all for this video. Bye.